All samples of the concrete must be obtained and prepared in accordance with BS EN 12350 Part 1. Fill the container with at least two layers. The thickness of each layer should be neither less than 10% nor more than 20% of the height of the container. Compact the concrete immediately after placing it in the container in such a way as to produce full compaction of the concrete with neither excessive segregation nor latents. Compact each layer by using one of the specified methods. A compacting bar is the most commonly used method in the UK. Distribute the strokes of the bar in a uniform manner over the cross section of the mould. Make sure that the bar does not forcibly strike the bottom of the container when compacting the first layer and does not significantly penetrate any previous layer. Subject the concrete to at least 25 strokes per layer. In order to remove pockets of trapped air, but not the entrained air, tap the sides of the container smartly with the mallet after compaction of each layer until large bubbles of air are no longer appearing on the surface and depressions left by the compacting rod or bar have been removed. After the top layer has been compacted, smooth it level with the top of the container using the steel float. Skim the surface and rim with the straight edge and wipe the outside of the container clean. Weigh the container with its contents to determine its mass and record the value indicated in kilograms. To calculate the density, divide the recorded mass by the volume of the container in cubic meters and express the density of the fresh concrete to the nearest 10 kilos per cubic meter. The following information must be included in the test report.